So what are we going to talk about? Why don't we start with, does Lance have any fears of his daughter Merle taking up like some kind of crime fighting mantle? Lance has no fears. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, does he, well obviously, um, you know, Sarah, he was aware of her uh, crime fighting tendencies and uh, her sartorial taste. Um, which obviously um, was not easy for a man, a father, to uh, to deal with. But at the end of the day, she was doing it for the uh, for the good of the city, wasn't she? Really? So um, that's you know, in his mind, that's how he reconciled the whole idea of uh, what she got up to at night. Um, and um, he coped with that. Now, of course, she goes off on this boat at the end of uh, season one, and um, goodness knows what she's going to there. But you know, she is who she is. She's always been a bit of a rebel. He can sort of, he can deal with it. The idea of Laurel, that little handover of the black leather jacket, obviously was a little bit of a, um, a bit of a red flag for Lance. Uh, and I think the last thing he wants is his, his more bookish intellectual daughter. You're the, you're the book daughter, not the run around. Thank you very much. Cheers. Not the uh, run around at night saving people daughter. Um, so, uh, but hey, you know, she has a strong will as well, so I guess I'll have to hope whatever happens. When we last saw Lance, he wasn't in a very good condition. And, you as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's a time jump, so will there be any lasting ramifications from his injury when after the time jump? Now I have to go into that bit of my brain which says, well, how much can we talk about? Da, 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 da. Probably not much. Um, well, I think it's probably... Um, my mother is texting me. Tell her we all said hi. Take a, take a photo of us. <laughs> That's just it, right? I'll do that. Um, um, you have to repeat the uh, the, uh, yeah, What are we expecting to see on what last year? So Lance's condition after he was injured, there's the time jump, so... Is are you that... aware of the time jump? Yes. Five months? Yes. I said five months? <laughs> Five or six, whatever um, it was. Yeah, um, five months, yeah. So um, that's a good time for recovery, isn't it? And he doesn't appear to be dead, so um, I can certainly speak against him. But is there any lasting ramifications from that, or is he healed altogether? Yeah, he was he was in a bad state. Yeah, that was, um, um, yeah, there was other complications which become apparent in, uh, in the first episode. Um, talked about. And yeah, it was a, a long recovery period for him. But then, of course, as he comes out of that recovery, he's uh, offered a new position, so um, he has to do a lot of thinking about whether he can do that or whether it's the sort of thing that he can do. Okay. Last season, uh, there was a conversation where he and Laurel discussed the arrow and she tried to tell him the truth and he really did not want to hear it. What would he do if push came to shove and he actually had to confront the truth about who the arrow actually is? Well, the thing is, the point is now with Lance is that he's not trying to find out who he is. I mean, he obviously uh, made very good efforts on that front in season one and maybe he still has an inkling of who it might be. But to him, it doesn't actually matter who it is, because he's obviously on, the, on his side now, uh, fundamentally, and um, he realizes that for the good of Starling City, for the bigger picture, he's doing right by, by all of us, by, the, by uh, yeah, Starling City. So um, the more distant he sort of remains from him on any sort of personal, emotional front, whatever, any kind of connection, the better, as alluded to in that scene, the, the, the uh, hospital scene. But yet, even beyond that, you know, he doesn't care who he is because the guy's doing the good by the city, and that's what Lance cares about most. You know, after the earthquake situation occurred, he realized, hang on a second, this guy's a good guy. He's a bit left field, he's not exactly uh, orthodox, but we'll work with him, and um, and so he does. Yeah, I mean, do you think that he knows that it's all of it? Or do you think that like, he's kind of trying not to acknowledge that it's all of it? You know, all, all those, there's a lot of roads leading to Rome, isn't there? Yeah. You know, and um, I think that it's, you know, like I said, he yeah, obviously has an inkling of who it might be, but doesn't care about who it is. Because whoever he is, whether he's Mickey Mouse, Oliver Queen, or Snow White, it doesn't matter. They're doing. You know, good by the city. So I doubt it's Snow White, though, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, can we talk about Lance's new role as captain? Um, it's interesting for us because you know he's he's um, he's he grew up in Starling City. You know, he's more of a blue collar kind of guy, and. Um, He's more connected, really, to the streets, you know, and as he, and to the people, you know, he knows people's names walking down the street, they know him, you know, he's been there all his life. 
And for him to, you know, from police officer to detective was one thing, you know, he still had some connection with people. Being a captain, that's a very different figure. That's, a, that's much more politics, much more paper pushing, desk administration, you know, and that isn't exactly what Lance um, yearns for in his life. And he, within himself, I think he has deep seated insecurities as to whether he really can fulfill that job, that position, you know. So um, he doesn't feel so comfortable in that position, but it's the only way back in there because of some of these physical situations that occur to him. He can't really go back out in the street again. So it's time to turn to being a coach, so to speak, as opposed to a player. And, um, you know, it's a bit of a midlife crisis, really, isn't it? You mean I can't run around anymore? What are you going crazy? Well, do you think he'll run around half hours? Well, you know, he tells his daughter to stay at home at night because he doesn't really listen to it himself, does he? So, yeah.